Hey, beloveds, it's your girl Clementine from Big Empress Energy. I'm sending you beautiful, bountiful blessings. Be open to receiving them. Mm -mm -mm. Mis amores, it's your girl Clementine. I record energy and people to fill. Oh, and this is our spirit tea. We're going to find out what our angels, our ancestors, and our guides want us to know right now. Okay. Now, Mira, if this reading resonates with you, please comment. Okay. I love to read the comments. You could also tip it my cash app or buy me a coffee. I appreciate the energy exchange and it's speaking abundance tenfold over your life. Okay. Yes. So y'all yeah, know I am booked for private readings until 2021. Thank you guys for your support, okay? The only way to work with me is every new and full moon on the Collective Candle Reikis. Now, we are just a few days away from the Taurus full moon. Shout out to all my Taurus is, okay? Our Taurus full moon is a blue moon, okay? Because it's the second full moon in October, okay? So this it's going to be Saturday on Halloween, okay? On San Wang, okay? And what I'm going to be doing is a third eye activation and a throat chakra upgrade, okay? For all the Reiki participants along with a YouTube live sound bath and group reading, okay? A reading for everyone in the group. I'm really excited to hold space with you. And if you're interested in this energetic healing and this sound bath and this experience, Please sign up and join. Secure your spot on my website, Big Empress Energy LLC.com. The link is in my bio, okay? And when you secure your spot on my website, you will get a downloadable PDF with everything you need to know, okay? The live is at 9 p.m. on Saturday, but the cutoff for securing a spot is at 8 p.m. If you're in need, Check my stories today, Mercury Day, Wednesday, for a chance to win, or 24 hours before the Reiki for a chance to win. I'm speaking abundance into every single body who's donated to a beloved in need. Thank you guys so much for your continued support and sharing and caring and embodying that big empress energy, okay? Now, let's get into this reading and see what it is that every single body watching this needs to know right now okay what is it that every single body needs to know for our highest and our best okay so i'm seeing ch -ch -ch changes okay lots of ch -ch changes okay spiritually me a lot of like orange type of energy and i feel like what this is saying is like lighten up like have fun okay have fun some of you guys need to maybe um tap in with your inner child to have fun okay what did your inner child used to like to do some of you guys haven't had fun in so long okay y'all been y'all been on on new spotlight too long y'all haven't had fun in a minute son so what y'all might want to do is tap in with little you okay what kind of movies you used to like what kind of things you like to you used to like to do did you like to decorate okay um do you like floras okay flowers in your house like i'm feeling like a resurgence of like this big mama energy nurturing a child okay caring for a child and this can be you caring for yourself in these wild times where everything is changing okay spirit saying hold on to something all right and with this energy this might be here an inner child of yours or just a part of you that needs attention okay it's almost like this energy of stop giving your energy to the external and turn it internal okay nurture your damn self okay because you cannot change the world you can only change your choices you can only change your perspective you can only change your habits routines and some of you guys are being challenged to change addictions by the end of this year that are not going to be going with you into 2021 now these addictions can be centered around food drinks people habits you know relationships but what i'm seeing is that there's a lot of changes okay this is a, the winds of change okay and it's also like don't take it personal it's only spirit it's always spiritual rise above and see it as a bird in the sky would okay as a, as something that's part of the bigger plan part of the bigger purpose okay so it's not all about your <laughs> 3d experience but this multi-dimensional multi-universe okay that's what y'all need to know multiverse multiverse, <laughs> multiverse okay so let's see what is the energy right now everybody's working with what is we dealing with spirit what is we dealing with so we have the eight of pentacles. So what I'm seeing here is some of you guys are needing to work 
smarter, okay? But we have the Knight of Wands, this fire energy bringing in swift change. Things can happen fast enough for some of y'all, okay? With this Knight of Wands, you guys could be inspired with an idea, okay? You guys could be inspired with an idea and you're feeling now like you need to go for it. You need to work towards it. You need to go do it, yup. Lot, wow, I said shit changes, damn. I didn't mean like this spirit. We have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, okay? This is swift, rapid change. This could be as well messages coming in, news coming in, letters coming in, conversations with people. Um, Some of you guys here, things might be escalating very fast, especially in conversations. No, you don't have to say everything you think, okay? You do not have to say everything you think, all right? Some people, it's your face. You don't have to say nothing, but everyone can read your energy just from your, your cara and everything that your face makes. It's like, you give the side eye and people are like, bitch, I know what you're trying to say to me, okay? So I'm seeing with this Knight of Wands at a source. There could be someone as well in your life that's trying to come through and manipulate you. Oh, okay. Maybe they want to start a fight. It's your job to mind your business and mind your frequency, okay? We are not here to... um. <laughs> to play with the peasants okay if someone wants to play with that energy and they want to be mad and they want to be upset let them be okay we have the temperance card let them be okay this is about letting go and letting goddess okay with this temperance energy this is all about moderation okay and contemplation connecting with your spirit team angels and ancestors as they surround you at this time temperance is saying moderation y'all moderation do not od surrender your addictions okay i'm also seeing having temperance with time okay so that means that you're not rushing you're not forcing things to happen okay some of you guys are forcing things to happen. This is the type of energy where you order something from a small business that says things may take four to eight weeks to arrive because everything is handmade. And then you're checking your tracking right after you place your order. Okay. That's this energy. What I'm trying to explain to you is that it's all about rush, 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 go, go, go. I, 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 I'm in the tunnel. I'm in the vision. I, you know, I'm in the zone. Okay. But when we have temperance, spirit's trying to lock on our door. Okay. Your divine ancestors, okay, are trying to tell you that there might be another way they're guiding you towards, okay? With this temperance energy, let go, let God. Stop trying to force your will, okay? Because that's how you're going to end up um, in such situations you ain't trying to be, okay? Some of you guys, this is a lover. Could be trying to manipulate you or a teacher that came in too. Uh, or someone who you look to for guidance with this temperance card. I'm seeing a lot of cups, okay? Ace of cups and this temperance card with the cups, okay? So what I'm coming through with this is that you cannot pour quality, okay, from a half empty cup, okay, from an empty cup. This is about fulfilling your own cup, nurturing yourself before you try and go to do that to other people. This is all also about following your intuition with this ace of cups, okay? Now, y'all know this week is lit. Y'all know that the veil is translucent, okay? And at this time, with this energy, you can trust your intuition. Especially here, your ancestors are talking to you, okay? Your ancestors are speaking to you. We have, look at these cards, child. We have the judgment card, the temperance card. I see these as angels and ancestors, the dead, right? And the ace of cups, communication with them, filling them, lighting um, your candles at your altar, putting a glass of water at your altar. You don't need much else, maybe some cloth as well, okay? A crystal, whatever you want all right but with the judgment card here i'm seeing this connection with spirit with the divine some of you guys honoring your ancestors feeding your ancestors i'm also seeing here that a lot of you guys here with this are having like this is a week of realizations and and epiphanies okay realizations and revelations okay it's realizations and revelations especially with this judgment card and this wheel of fortune okay some of you and that wheel of fortune is all about change it's all about jupiter it's all about expansion it's all about going into this next portal this next level and what i'm seeing this judgment card you guys have woken up you're ready to go but you cannot rush the flow okay with the judgment card this is about your soul's awakening your spiritual awakening happening at this time with the judgment card some of you guys are being a little bit you know, things need to happen by a certain time or a certain thing like you do not need to rush i don't have to tell you one more time do not rush the situation when i see the ace of cups to so the wheel of fortune this is one to ten you might be trying to go 
and jump and, and you on step one you trying to be on level 10 okay that's the energy of not trusting in divine time okay with this energy you're needing to trust in divine time all right and with this judgment card i'm also seeing that this energy is something that you you've been called to so when it's the right time it's going to be there for you nothing can miss you that is meant for you nothing can miss you that is meant for you what i'm seeing this judgment card i'm also seeing that some of you guys are mad judgmental to other people or this could be vice versa okay flow with forgiveness okay flow with forgiveness is what i'm seeing forgive these that do not know anything forgive them that don't know better okay that's what spirit wants you to do now I'm loving this energy here. So I'm seeing some of you guys, this has to do with a person. Again, a lover as well could be coming in and judging you or you could be judging your lover. And this is about changing your perspective, expanding, okay? And open yourself up to more blessings. Now, I don't really need to put on more cards because we have the death card that came out and this is Scorpio season energy. The death card in the tarot is Scorpio. This death, death season is Scorpio season. This is about death, but you don't get death without rebirth. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, okay? So with this energy of this death, what I'm seeing is that a lot of people are going through huge transformations. You're going through ego deaths. It was 11-11 when I said that. Huge transformation, huge ego deaths, okay? And almost wanting to rush the process, rush where you are. Spirit's saying it's about the journey, not the destination. I'm also seeing surprise. So I'm seeing that you guys are going to be getting surprising news, surprising thoughts, surprising turn of events, surprising changes, surprising realizations and revelations, okay? Some of you guys are going to get surprising gifts, surprising gifts in the terms of this could be a physical gift or you're discovering a gift of your intuition, you're strengthening your psychic intuition, your abilities and everything like this. Some of you guys will be having a surprise encounter with your dead this week, okay? With your ancestors, with your angels, with your guides, it will be surprise okay because you guys have been waiting for so long for this and i can feel this some of you guys need to strengthen your connection with your dead with music the music that your dead used to like my whole body is in freaking chills child and what we got I keep saying you're dead, you're dead. This is a graveyard, okay? This is a tombstone. This is the dead, all right? So you guys are going to be connecting with your dead this week. This says control. Some of you guys want to control other people, control um how other people see you okay and with this energy you need to release control and surrender surrender to surprises i know a lot of y'all don't like surprises but this is surprises that is in alignment with your fate when we have all these major arcanas especially the judgment and the will of fortune this is faded change faded change orchestrated by the divine okay some of you guys may be have been trying to call in a specific person in your life this is like that week that you're going to or a situation in your life this is a week you're calling in the universe is hearing you and it's offering you your gifts in time keep focusing on your own paper we also have apple risk and reward some of you guys might want to be connecting with apples put apple in your smoothie but what i'm seeing with this energy is that you need to take a risk to get a reward okay so what this might mean is taking a divinely guided chance you guys are inspired to do something, go for it, work at it, work towards it, and let the change happen on its own organically, okay? Let the change happen on its own organically. We have chocolate, okay? So some of you guys here need to eat some chocolate, indulge. This says nourish your body and your soul, okay? Chocolate covered strawberries, all right? Some of you guys here, we have amber. This is the sacral chakra. This is that orange energy I was picking up on. This says awaken your creativity, okay? Awaken your creativity. What I'm seeing is creative solutions, all right, as well. And we have pearl, connect to the divine. Some of you guys, your ancestors used to wear pearls or they want you to put pearls on their altar. Connect to the divine, okay? Now, what that means, my love, is that spirit wants you to pray, connect to your altar, light your candles. Now, what's that time? Ask a question, ask a question, like a yes or no type of question. And don't be asking the same question you always ask. Ooh, it's a good time to make plans, okay? It's a good time to make plans. Let's get it popping, okay? Because you need to at this time. You need to get it popping. You need to get it dropping and everything like that, okay? Now, Spirit is also saying here, make a vision board, okay? So some of you guys may be wanting to make a vision board, okay? Um, 
of things that you are calling in, things that you are manifesting. Now, my love, if the reading resonates with you, please comment, holla at your girl. You could also tip it my cash app or buy me a coffee. I appreciate the energy exchange. Secure your spot for Collective Candle Reiki at my website, Big Empress Energy, LLC.com. Links in the bio.